Hi folks, so a bit of a different video today in that uh, it's not a pickups one or anything like that simply because I haven't done any pickups for weeks, everything's been barren, but I have got a parcel which we're going to open. Now, um, whilst the camera that I use for all my videos, which is a Panasonic Lumix F330, well FZ330, uh, does 4K video, it's exceptional, it does have decent audio, but it's not the best. Um, I do have quite a few different other microphones, but when I saw this on sale the other day, I thought, yeah, why not, let's give it a go. So this video is going to be a bit of a comparison with the audio on the actual camera itself, and from this uh, we'll do some stuff indoors, directional stuff like this, and then we'll head out to outside as well and try some stuff out there. Obviously I can't compare the audio of this until I've recorded all of this, so at the end of this video I'll do a little recap on the sound quality and stuff as well. Um, so, what this is in here is a um, Olympus directional microphone. Um, I'm actually very, very pleased considering it's from CEX, but it's actually boxed as well, which is a rarity. So, here we are. Um, I paid £4 for this, plus £1.50 postage. Um, but interestingly, the price sticker on the side is £10, because a couple of months ago it was around about that. So this is, which model is this, this is the ME34 compact zoom microphone. So, specifications, oh, let's go. It's a mono one, so it's not stereo, but it is, um, where's English, where's English, where's English? There's no English, that's helpful. Okay, directional microphone can be used for sound clearance, such as a lecture, a microphone cord can be put tightly by one of the microphone stand, Patrolus plug-in power system, context microphone. And it is, what's the sensitivity? Uh, it is a unidirectional frequency from 70 to 1500 or 15,000 Hz, uh, minus 40 decibels with a 1.1 kilo ohm output impedance, um, and it's powered by the actual jack on the thing itself. It weighs 38 grams and it's got a 3.5 mil mini plug with a 1 meter length. So obviously, this isn't suitable for like hot shoe, but. It's got a little standing on it, so let's give it an open, shall we? Yeah, there we go. No manual included in it, by the looks of it. It's a microphone, do you really need a manual? Oh, it's plug in and play. And here we are. So it's a little, little one. Comes with a little stand, which is quite neat. And again, yes, there is a one metre cord, which is all really tangled up. And yes. Um, but right, so what we'll do, I mean, like, so. so I say this is the current test with the actual microphone on the camera itself. So what we'll do is we'll plug this little guy in, and then we'll see how we get on with this. And again, I'll do some tests outside as long as it's not raining, which looks all right at the moment. And we'll do some tests outside as well and see what it can pick up. So I'm going to pause this for a second, plug this in, and we'll be back. Okay, so this is now with the Olympus microphone plugged in. Um, again, I don't know the quality of it yet, but we'll review this at the end of the video. But I'm just going to talk for a little bit about it. Uh, so at the moment I've got it positioned just under the camera on the tripod. It's pointed straight towards me. It is a directional one, so theoretically if I will go this way a bit or go this way a bit, it should still pick up the sound quite clearly on it as well. Um, yeah, it does come with this nice little stand. I mean, I can move it close to me, but I think it'll probably blow out the sound a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, so it seems to me, yeah. From what I can see on the actual camera itself, it's, it's picking up the noise quite clearly on a left and right channel. Again, it's going to be mono, but it will distribute across the left and the right channels anyway. But hopefully, we should give a little bit more of a clearer audio. Um, again, for when I'm out and about, obviously, you'd need a hot shoe microphone. Um, but for home purposes and stuff like that, this should be all right. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to shoot outside set it up. I mean the birds are tweeting, tweeting, it's quite quiet out there today and we'll go and see what the sounds out outside. So bear with me a minute and we'll be back. Okay, so here we are outside. My little hill. There's quite a lot of background noise going on at the moment. Um, it's a train. This is a railway not too far away, steam railway. Um, yeah, so this is with the internal mic. And hopefully the quality should be quite well. But you should be able to pick up all the birds tweeting and so on and so forth. It's a 
quiet Sunday morning, mid-March. So yeah, so what I'll do is just a handy dandy little thing there. Stone, rock, and there's a bench there, so I'm gonna sit on the bench. And I'll put this down and we'll see what it can pick up. So again, this is just with the audio on the actual camera itself. Hope the quality should be quite good. Actually, let's have a look at it. You probably can't see the train. There's a steam from it. Choo choo ma choo. Yeah. So let's put you down. Okay. So again, this is just with the audio from the camera at the moment. Toot toot to you too. Okay, so this is with the microphone plugged in. Again, it's plugged in just under the camera itself. So, yeah. We'll just have a look at that. So, see what you think. What do you think? Which, which microphone do you think is the better one? Um, leave a comment below and let me know. I'm assuming the Olympus one is going to be better. Toot toot to you too. But yeah. It's beautiful. We did actually walk up here yesterday. You'll have to excuse the heavy breathing, but I still do have a little bit of a cold and cough. No, it's not coronavirus. But yeah, so let me know what you think. Which one do you think is better? Right, I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much.